we will now review the proper database connectivity required between the source and target database servers. Your first option is to test your connectivity through the scan. Set up a TNS alias and test if you can TNS ping from your source database server to your target database server. And then attempt the opposite direction. If you're able to TNS ping and connect, then this is a good option for you. However, if it errors out or times out, then you may need to use option number two, which is set up an SSH tunnel for the source database servers to the target database server. You would do this from the root user on the source database server to the target database server. Let's talk a little bit about how to set up the SSH tunnel for option number two. It's very straightforward. Uh, the first step would be to set up the key pairs well passphrase. This is identical to what you have done in the past, setting up the connectivity from the ZDM service host to the target and source database service. However, in this case, you will be setting up connectivity from the source database server root user to the target database server OPC user. You would follow the same steps to set up the keys, to copy the public key into the authorized key file of the OPC user, and to also update the SSH configuration file. After that, you would test your connectivity, create the SSH tunnel, and then test the SSH tunnel. Let me go into some more details about that. After you create the SSH equivalency and you test the SSH equivalency uh, using the keys, then you also need to update the SSH config file. So here, this is on the source database server for the root user. Now, remember, what we're doing here is setting up connectivity from the root user to the OPC user, from the source database server to the tar target database server. You would add in your SSH config file another block that would be the name of your target host, the host name IP address, the identity file, i.e. the private key for the root user, and then the target user that you want on the uh, target database or the target host, which in this case is OPC. You would validate the SSH key the same way that you did before. SSH minus I key name user at target. And then you would also do SSH simply target name to validate that the SSH configuration is correct. After you have done that, then you would set up your SSH tunnel. This is also very straightforward. What you would do is Use SSH minus F, the name of your target database server, minus L, a port which you want to use. In this case, we're using 9001. This is an available port for us. Colon, the IP address of the endpoint uh, on your uh, target server and a port number. Now, where do you get these IP addresses and port numbers? You would get them by doing a, a listener CTL status on your target database server. And I will give you an example of that in a moment. After you have done this, set up the tunnel, then you would use TNS ping localhost colon tunnel port. And again, that tunnel port we are using here is 9001. If the source is a RAC database, then you need to repeat these steps on all the source database servers. 